With Central, you can define rules to automatically send email or SMS notifications to parents and carers. To set them up, navigate to Attendance, then Attendance Setup, and then Automatic Absence Notifications. Firstly, you'll see the option up here at the top to either enable or disable this system. This will depend on how your school wants to manage notifications, and chances are this will be set to Yes. In the lower section, we can see a number of rules that have been set up for various situations. A red cross indicates that the rule is disabled, a green tick indicates enabled. In this video, we'll focus on automatic SMS messages. As a sample, let's take a closer look at this one. At 9am each day, Central will search for all whole absences and then send an SMS message using the whole absence SMS template. It will apply to the current day, the reason chosen is absent, and it will apply to all years. The last runtime for this notification is shown here. To make changes to this rule, you can click the Edit button. And let's do that, because at the moment, it's disabled. Now let's see how we do this by creating a new rule. Firstly, note that the rules are listed in time order, and there is no function to delete a rule, so think carefully about how many rules you need to create. Click here to add a new rule. We'll select the current day and generate the notification at 9.15am. Select SMS as the default message type, and to go with that, we'll select the whole absence SMS template. The reason will be unjustified. Select whole for the absence type. You can select to apply this rule to specific years only. For example, you might have flexible arrangements for year 12 students. If no year levels are selected, the rule will include all years. Make sure the rule is enabled and then click Save. Now in this example, I won't click Save as there are already quite a few rules in the list. Notice also that there's no Cancel button. So to click out of this rule, I'll just click the menu again. Remember, there's no option to remove the rule, so think carefully about the rules you create. For rules that you no longer want to use, click the Edit button and disable the rule using the Disable button. A workaround to make unwanted rules less visible is to edit the runtime to later in the day. Since rules are displayed in time order of when they run, the rules that aren't immediately relevant simply appear lower in the list. 